Um, yeah, bro. Um, right. This conversation today, right? Um, I it was highlighted to me about uh this. I would say um saga online, yeah. Um, <laughs> online, right? So the other day, bro, I was just minding my own business. Um. How can I say my name on business? Kind of like, you know, you just you just watch, saw this advert come up about gravy. And I thought, I bought it. Like, like you know, <laughs> it's kind of cool. You had a uh, pure black people on it. I thought, yo, who is this? Sainsbury's. And I was like, yo, this is neat, man. You know, I was like, this is this is kind of cool. And um, and I was like, you know what? Um, respect, man. Um, things are going on, man. You know, uh, we're getting liberated here uh we you know what i'm saying um and first time you know proud you know took my gravy just to let everyone everyone know about there about gravy gravy is not a healthy substance in, in, in eating in, in a caribbean community it's just basically some hot oil <laughs> mixed with oxo cubes so you know you got the oxo cubes and you mix it you mix everything in there still like that still yeah so that's of, unfortunately um what gravy is for ourselves anyway so yeah but uh it's not healthy but it's fire yeah and obviously uh, whoever does the gravy does a good gravy um you know get 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 gets props now i'm not a gravy man to be honest but anyway i can i i, I can um you know i can you know vibe with it anyway yeah so my missus a few days later goes why have you seen the responses that's going on about this right this i'm thinking huh what mean responses pure people making some crazy statements about this is just inappropriate now howie now you, you you give me your perspective because i'm like stop before i start going in you you you, you throw it in for me man because I, I i was seeing some of these comments that you sent over to me and i'm like oh my goodness sake you know what i mean i kind of like um uh, kind of get mad over these things but go go for it bro you do talk about what, what your your angle and things well well if we if we go back to let, let's say you know there's a number of questions here and we can start off by saying what is the advert about and you, you you're quite right it's simply um we know now we're in november all of the shops all retailers are putting on their their christmas ads you know to plug at the or to tug at the heartstrings and to get people to come into their establishments mm. and spend their money yeah that's the bottom line yeah. so they've got same have actually got three ads i've only seen two of them i'm not sure if the third one is out yet yeah but the first one that's come out has been about a um a family which happens to be let's just say there's a family with a dad the mum, children and basically you're talking around the dad making the gravy it's called the gravy song and ultimately it's looking at the thought of coming home for christmas you know when you know when you go home and there's no, no matter how big you get right i know that when i go home to see my parents mm, mm. my mom knows i'm coming mm. and I <laughs> right yeah. so there's something that i can go home and expect and i go from being this big 40 year old man to to going home and being a child again as it were. yeah man all day every day so, so the thought of it let's think about what we're trying to or saying we're just trying to establish here is about the thought of going home mm -hmm. and be together as family yeah so let's put it in context as to what that is it just so happens it just so happens that the family is black and as a result wow. of that it seems to have it seems to have created a a whirlwind uh you know a world a tornado of responses we know that twitter is a is a is a hotbed for that yeah that you can that you can be a keyboard warrior and say what you say what you like without any arguably without any form of comeback mm. and the responses have been incredible but actually have the responses been um have the responses been anything than expected you know you've, you've okay have, yeah it's yeah it's a lovely advert and then you get the ones and say and some of the comments that were coming out people saying hold up this is this is this is britain you know what i say 90 90 92 percent white so why have we got black people in an advert all black people i'm like for crying out loud, really? And, and so you're going to have people who are commenting on the fact that they're, they're not going to be shopping at Sainsbury's anymore because of this. Mm, you know, mm, mm. when when did it become, you know, when mm. when do you see, you know, is this ad just for black people? I think if people have lost the plot, it would appear. It would yeah, appear. And yeah. so you know, there's a multiplicity of comments that are coming out, people saying why they object, not even saying that why they object, just say, simply saying that they object 
saying that it's a horrible or you know various forms of descriptive words around that it's a horrible advert well I'm, I'm gonna be putting on there guys i'm gonna put this on youtube guys so i'm gonna be putting right on the screen right now there's gonna be different i'm gonna be putting through comments that people have made so it's gonna okay. be hard concrete and, and people can see the comments can be made because if you are not a black person and you're watching this now or listening to this you're saying to yourself what are the comments what are they going on about man you know what i mean and this is the vibe that i always get why are black people always moaning about racism it's gone now it's it's it's, it's done you know what i mean it's finished that's the response to get it that's the response to get it come on no i want to i want to hear i want to let's let's talk through some of these comments let's have a look at okay cool a- right so i'm looking through this one yeah um stop shopping ages ago uh somebody stopped shopping um and uh stop shop shop the people stopping stopping shopping at sainsbury's because of the advert but you know what's interesting they stopped it because of the um somebody said they stopped it because of um what's it brexit in it and sainsbury's bra- brexit yeah they, and let, they, they for the remain that's right they remain, the remain remain yeah yeah support yeah it's supported to remain and everyone's got an issue um and what te- what let's be real about it bro that was really a race issue it ended up being you know what i'm saying it, brexit was not about people say it's about law and about we should break away from england uh, from, from europe because no because there's an underlying racist they made it into a racist a racist whole thing about we should stop the immigrants from coming into this country that's what they really that that's the core element everyone's denied it but we had to show is what we're seeing coming through right about now is that if it wasn't that they wouldn't tie um brexit to the sainsbury's advert you know what i'm saying you know bear in mind, bear in mind we're coming off people it is it's it's it, it, it's uh it's a bit different anyway but let's not go there because some people are kind of old educated when they make this you know um let's have a look let me look down bro i'm just looking at some of these comments hit me hit me one that you hit you uh go on. Yeah. Stop shopping at Sainsbury's ages ago. Go woke, go broke. <laughs> Bro, that, 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 that's that's taking it. Anyway, go, 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 go for it. Go, 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 go. Well done, well done Sainsbury's for making an ad with people who look like me. This is a positive. Yeah. A loving father who embarrasses his daughter and claims kitchen genius because of one thing he makes well and that, that's a real positive. You that's, know, that's positive, one, but off that, bro, yeah. Hear, hear the joke now, yeah? The same people would it complain don't complain when we're depicted as drug dealers and in every single music video that they've been putting out in the call with within within a certain scene yeah but soon as we're seen as a positive influence a full black family they're finding offense and scared but anyway so let's, let's. Yeah, yeah and there's another one here someone's now on a negative someone says i've just muted sainsbury so in other words they don't want to see anything from sainsbury's if that's what they're going to show uh, another one here nice to see you targeting a particular ethnicity looking forward to your asian stroke oriental version along with your european version bro like <laughs> i was just like oh I, I couldn't believe so what i did bro actually i went on to i went and did some news article read readouts of it bro and just you know I me mean? i thought let me go into the, uh, what, what, an, a metro people actually made complaints to uh what you call it what the watchdogs or whatever they're called um of uh, in adverts and they said um they had five complaints official complaints made and they said there's nothing to to come back on yeah obviously because they're like what on earth is going on there and what made me laugh is ashley banjo says um um to sainsbury's welcome to the diverse uh well welcome for the um the diversity trick was it black lives matter triggering um um society because you know obviously he did his dance that triggered everybody into a into complaining about this is too much for me this is too much for me but the scary thing is bro it's like you know what you know what i'm scared about and i said this to somebody over there you know what i mean no one in the uk has has officially in an organized capacity not on an individual basis in a corporate major business has addressed anything to do with race whether it's christian or non-christian unless you get tell me something different go go for it give, give me an example of what, uh, oh well i mean is, is is like for example now if the government said okay the police come forward and they said listen guys yeah we've made mess ups in the past young black men have been targeted we do target young black men 10 times more than and not uh, anybody else and they stopped that oh um bbc saying okay um the only black thing you allowed on, on our station is black music we're not we don't 
have a station dedicated for black anything else but but our music uh you don't have no apology from the church for their buildings that got built by slave labor no apology from the system to say okay you know what guys yeah we broke a bad deal with the slave masters 150 years ago and we, we just finished paying them off and uh um we're kind of sorry that kind of happened it's not our fault we never broke the deal it's our forefathers but you know what <laughs> you know sorry there's no it, there's no rep- there's no <sighs> repent you know, like like any sort of heart of oh we kind of it's kind of like defensive like yeah and what you know what i mean like that's that that's my that's that's what troubles me bro i mean it, on that basis i mean i will say there was something recently about oh three or four weeks ago where there was a church in in london i'm, I'm not sure which church it is i'm going to try and uh i don't want to misquote them mm. but there was a church whereby i think one of the senior ministers who'd come to the uk yeah. back in the in, in the 60s and they were refused they were refused um they, no they went to the service but after the service the minister went up to the person and said uh thank you for coming please don't come back basically that's what they were told wow um, but all these years later the, the same person is now, now one of the heads of the organization uh, and they were they were called back by the the current minister mm-hmm. and they had a special service and they had a made uh made positive steps by actually apologizing that's brilliant and sorry to so but there are i think there are things happening yeah so maybe things are happening in pockets yeah uh, and maybe they may not have been highlighted but this was quite a significant turnaround in mm-hmm. terms of saying to this person all these years later mm-hmm. we're sorry but we treated you in the way that you were treated and actually mm-hmm. recognizing that we are meant to be part of one body um it, it, it is quite something but i mean here's, here's another quote that someone okay. made a few days back and he said every single tv ad this evening is black morrison's hive sainsbury's and all the rest i'm going to take a stand and not buy from these companies until they see me they see me i'm white and i live in a majority white country i exist it's going to be difficult but that's my mission <laughs> well, well you know all right bro, bro, bro this is what cheeses me off yo like like bro yeah. i don't know yeah they've had white everything all over the world do you realize america is not meant to be white but it's been white due to absolute anyway i don't even get we can get too much into history but you know you know it absolutely annoys <laughs> me yeah like say you know what take a hit you know what i'm saying you know I mean your children listen to our music and let's put one of our fa- a positive image of ourselves on tv just one positive image and it's like it's a problem absolutely and uh, you know uh, and this one quote now this is a few days ago when i took this picture yeah. mm. this snapshot, and that particular quote that i just read to you at the time had five thousand likes that just that one quote had five i mean there's probably two and a half thousand yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. response comments mm. but there were five thousand likes of that one comment and people were in five thousand reshares yeah so in other words and, and so what it's telling you is are people ready to uh, are, are people ready to share a space at the table? And I think that's key because we can moan and complain. We can actually say that we expect it, but actually, ultimately, what do we want? And there was, a, there was something that I put on my social media this morning, actually, which is basically saying it's not enough to be, it's not enough to be not racist or mm. it's not enough not to be racist, mm. but you have to be positively anti-racist. In other words, whoever you are, you've got to make the conscious choice to be able to make a difference and the question is like i was saying to my son the other day i said it's going to have to be your generation but and it may not change but what i'm saying it's going to take your generation to make a headway to make positive inroads into making that difference because at this moment in time you know our generation of the 40s and those who are older are actually saying you know there's a even if it is even if even if the majority of people may not be yeah those majority of people are not making enough noise to silence and change the yeah. mindset mm-hmm. of the minority who are making the issue and those minority are enough to cause or to be an a, a fly in the ointment and that's the problem that's the problem I, I think as well um what i remember when i was a kid at school and um i was in history class and um 
and I'm, I'm a, I wouldn't say I'm a bit of a historian, but you know what I mean. But I love history. Uh, but anyway, I was in, in there and we're studying. I remember we were studying into the uh, Australian and New Zealand um, history of the, uh, you know enjoyed about the Abu. Uh, well, not enjoyed it, but seeing how if the 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 Abu Tam- Tasmanians got totally wiped out of their country and different things anyway. But uh, you know, I had an old white teacher, Mr. Parker, and um, and uh, I had this guy who was always racist towards me and abusive towards me in the class you know i was the only black guy in the class you know black guy in the whole year and um he turned around and shouted at him when he when he got a whiff of it yeah and he turned around and there's like me and a couple of asian guys in the class and he said if it wasn't for the commonwealth soldiers we would have lost world war one and would have had no chance in world war two yeah so you know what you need to show them some respect because on their blood and on, on, on them is how we won world war one and how we got through world war two as a you know I mean? I'm thinking education yeah and we we need uh uh people to actually talk the truth about our input into this country yes you could argue it's a yo slavery slavery and whatever this so yeah but we've made a positive input it's just like everything's been p- portrayed like we haven't had any we had no input into this country that's what annoys me you know what i'm saying absolutely stink annoys me and what annoys me is that the fact that basically we see it in more important to to discredit black lives matter yeah you know as uh, you know as a church organization i'll say you know people say to me oh we shouldn't mention the name or whatever so more more effort discrediting them but i don't hear the same people getting up and discrediting these comments so i'm going hold on a second it was never about the black lives matters actually is it the case that black lives matters actually doesn't matter to you because if it does matter the same noise you make about black lives matter are you making that noise about uh, about people's negative comments towards sainsbury's uh, uh, Bob? it's one and the other or neither neither them yeah so i get where you're coming from because you know what bro I, i've seen bare messages going around between certain people going oh yo we shouldn't we shouldn't back these organizations we shouldn't back these people but all of a sudden when it comes to these people blasting a little gravy a, a gravy brownie um um, uh, um, um advert they're, they're cool with it you know what i'm saying but you just sent me a video yeah go on say what you're saying you just sent me a video because when i talk about that video you sent me after someone 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 has put a post on social media and this is when i when i turned on my social media this is what dropped up it just dropped up on the front page so it's not i haven't selected this okay cool screenshot it though <laughs> and it simply says this yeah it's not the advert they hate it's us wow as, uh, bro it, and that's uh, and, uh, and bro just just a simple the happy to see i bet you if it was a black guy getting locked up they'd be like yeah man yeah man yeah man yo where, where, where's my popcorn man yo man let me join the film i'm joining the film but it's a positive image of a black family all together yeah that's what it is and, and actually when i looked at and, and let's put a bit of balance in this mm. when i looked at the second advert now the second advert is a family of white people. yeah that's it uh, and actually when i looked at the advert i didn't say to myself where are the black people why why is there no black because maybe because it's the norm and that's what we expect mm-hmm. but I, I i liked the advert i took it for what it was yeah i looked i looked beyond in fact i didn't even i don't want to use the term i didn't see color because yeah. i did yeah. but that didn't make it a different that didn't make it a problem mm-hmm. i recognize it was a family yeah what is it trying to put across here they're not trying to they're not trying to play a game of dividing mm-hmm. uh, uh, um all they're doing is saying this is a family and this is celebrating and getting us into the feel of christmas and what mm-hmm. i will say i don't know how long we've got left but what yeah, i will on. say i know that sainsbury's is, is here they're promoting and i mean they're getting all this publicity and you, you know you've, you're going to have you're going to have people who are the detractors who are saying actually if you look at what uh, tesco's have allegedly done recently in they've seemed to have edited one of their videos i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the video from somebody who was in the video into this into into the youtube playback of this i'm gonna put this video in here because you just need to break down this story anyway so yeah so i'm gonna put that video right now and then you're gonna comment on it now bro morning guys so i made a comment late last night when i saw the sainsbury's commercial which is so beautiful by the way because it just features a black 
family, which we never really see. We always see mixed families. Um, I'm always the token black girl <laughs> um, and I always have a white husband with me, um, which for me is progress. And I know a lot of my peers have always questioned me why I'm always a token black person. I said, look, at least we're moving forward in the world. And it's a stepping stone because three years ago, my Afro wasn't desirable. My Afro, wanted they wanted me to suppress it on screen. So to be casted as a dark skin couple for the new Tesco commercial, um, the spicy commercial, I was so excited because I'd never seen that before on UK TV screens. So for them to cast us, and then for me to know that there was conversation in the casting room about my hair, as in the other commercial that they did with the Tesco Club card, it featured a woman with an afro. And I know they received so much scrutiny about that advert, um, which is so disappointing because in 2020, there's so many people saying the UK is not racist, yet that is a topic of conversation. Yet that was a topic of conversation again when it came to Tesco sort of standing up and actually using someone like me and actually going a step further and saying, you know what, we're going to use a black couple for this. And there's a whole storyline. So we all have our quotes to say in the story. Then they show the advert for three days. Didn't say anything to my agent. I called my agent to let them know, hey, I haven't seen any version of us. <laughs> and then to know that they actually cut us, didn't say why, didn't say anything. But for me, it was disappointing because in my heart, I know why they cut us from the commercial, which is so sad. So thank you, Saint. For whatever reason you're cooking, try Let's Cook. Three easy steps and ready in just 20 minutes. Food Love Stories, brought to you. So now I've given you more context. I'm so happy I actually record things behind the scene. And then, obviously, when the advert comes out, then I release the footage. The advert is out. I am not in it, but is out. So, what do you think? I'm not saying boycott Tesco, but me, I'm boycotting Tesco. Oh, gonna miss them out of biscuits, but I'm boycotting Tesco. But on a serious note, if you don't feel like it's about race, if you don't understand why people are irate about the comments that have been made on the Sainsbury's advert, then you really need to educate yourself. And if you're one of those commenters, Honestly, I challenge you to read a book like Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man by Manuel Archo. Go on his Instagram and you can watch the conversation for free because this is not okay. In 2020, this is not okay. But what I will, what I will try, what I will say, yeah. in, in, regardless of what the supermarket say, whether or not, I'm, you know, I don't want to leave anybody out and, so, and, so, and me get in trouble. Whether you shop at Asda, Lidl, Morrison's, Marks and Spencer's, Sainsbury's, uh, as the Tesco's, who else is there? Summerfield, mm. they, they still exist. Co-op, wherever, wherever you shop. Happy shopper. <laughs> happy shopper. Yeah, your price, your local, whatever it's called. <laughs> wherever you shop. Yeah. Can I? I just want to promote this. Promote your own black stores. So, regardless, yeah, great. I'm. You know, we're talking about the ad, mm. but let me just put this in here and say, go and support your local, your your local African and West Indian store to go and get your to go and get your spices in your and your. Uh, your salt fish and your your mm, your, mm -hmm. your milk based drinks, aka nourishment and nutriment, uh, <laughs> and whatever you go and get your planting and everything else. Yeah, whatever it is, go and support go and support your black shops. Yes, same person. These, these, these guys will survive without the support. You know, we talk about the Black Pound Day, and I'm probably going off topic, but you know, this is about the advert, and ultimately, what this is about is same person, the big stores promoting who they are and what they do. Let me give us a little advert for the little man down the street. You know, go and support them, please. Keep them going. 
and keep the you know keep the economy within their space moving as well now uh, for now I, I, I want to go into this video now um <laughs> they sent me about the tesco advert so there's you know a, a, a young black actress um she got a squeeze on the tesco, tesco advert as you can see and she's obviously a bit cheesed off now because um when she saw the advert you know i mean um it seems like tesco chickened out and thought saw the opportunity of basically Sam Sainsbury's getting battered. I said, yo, cut out the the black. And when I said black, it, and not, not, the, 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 you're talking about black couple. You know what I mean? When she, I, I saw her doing the hair in the morning, I thought, but that's, that, trust me, it's Afro, Afro hair, yeah? And um, and she's with, um, again, a, um, a black guy. Um, and, and she said that she's been um, put roles in terms of mixed couples in the past. So it'd be really, it's been really good to really show her her blackness in this and um and it was not a case of just black alone it was a mixture of of you know what i mean people on there and they took that the advert you know what i mean um tesco did so are people scared about this bro like what 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 what's what's going on is this this is this now we're gonna get, get we're gonna get a whitening and they're gonna come from browning now of the adverts to a whitening of all the adverts now <laughs> Well, well, and I think it, it's about being able, you know, it's it's tr it's trying to be politically correct and trying to keep, arguably, trying to keep the masses happy. So the the, the, the bottom line would be is, what do you want to do? Do you want to maintain? Okay, it's all about risk, dare I say. Okay. Risk versus return. So in other words, what am I going to risk by promoting diversity? What am I, what am I trying to risk by having a black couple or whatever in an advert? Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to just having what we would, what we, you know, dare I say, having something that is whitewashed. Yeah. Um, you know, and maybe they, they took a view on that thinking, do we want the abuse? But actually, uh, if you, uh, if you, if all of these majors mm. decided to pull together, if the racists say, well, I'm not going to shop at Sainsbury's, I'm going to shop at Tesco's, and then Tesco says, fine, don't shop here because, you know, where they're going to shop. And then Asda says, hey, we don't want you either. What's going to happen then? But unfortunately, they they haven't, in my view, taken the mantle, the responsibility. It's a responsibility, taking the responsibility and the lead to say we're going to make a stand as an organisation. And I've seen some great, you know, culturally. I don't think that people need to go from one extreme to the other. Yeah, I think I think there should be a level playing field. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I think I'm not, yeah, we're not I, here to pro, pro like black adverts every two seconds. You know what I mean? It's just, no, I, I'm, I'm saying let's be realistic. No one's saying for a fundamental change. No one's saying for a knee jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is whatever you need to do, it needs to be embedded as part of your normal day to day. It should be the norm. You know, if you make it part of the norm, there won't be a problem because actually it becomes you know people people look at some of the sports programs and thinking you know they put black lives matters and and uh, and whatever on the on the end of clips which is fine um but just make it part and parcel of the every day and then actually it won't become a problem for people whereby they may feel that they're being bombarded with images you know but actually we've we've been used to it for how many years <laughs> from when we <laughs> born man from when we born we've been sent positive images false in positive images because it's not 100 percent of other races um because we all got dodgy folk in our in, a, in every single race every single race has dodgy folks every single race have great people every single race has but what hurt, what what i'm annoyed about is that people are so used to seeing the negative portrayal of black people yeah it's yeah. i remember watching bbc yeah and you know the bbc has them little cultural intermissions yeah you see you know bbc has um sorry bbc i'm shouting you out here you know what i'm saying you know so you have like the um, the asian do uh uh their their traditional dances and have an asian um bangra bangra drums okay. drum drum yeah. away and then you have folk dancing and you got people doing folk dancing they came to steal pants it was done by non-black people so you're gonna hold on a second yeah you represent you, you don't even give us a a, a, a positive platform to do our thing you know what i mean you just get somebody else to do it is it that bait you know what i'm saying but yeah you know it's okay for us to use our cheap labor that you do in all these stores majority of the stuff you know what i mean cheap labor stuff that, that you kind of te teeth out of communities but when it comes to representing them on tv it's a problem it's bro it's it's a frustrating one but as he says 
moving forward, we're just here to highlight the whole drama. And we're not going to say, like, as nice politically correct Christians, we're not going to say, yo, it's okay. It's okay. Um, take the adverts off. We don't want trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's my problem. Um, we just say it's okay. Um, take it off. There's too many. There's too many. You know, we don't want, we don't like, we don't know no more, no more trouble. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I get it, bro. But. And one one thing it has done, it, no, I know that, you know, I'm aware of where this has uh, has raised some issues and challenges within a number of organizations. Yeah. Because, um, because you may wear the badge, you may wear the title of Christian, but my challenge mm-hmm. is, are you Christ-like? Uh, and, you know, and even in churches, okay, the, the reason why lots of people may go to a church where the majority of folk look like them mm-hmm. it's about familiarity yeah people yeah go where they can identify with generally mm-hmm. where they feel comfortable mm-hmm. and, uh, and that's all, and, and part of that and that's that's important yeah you know and there's people who go to who, who go to churches whereby uh, it, there may be more of an embracing cross-culturally of what they do in terms of their music mm-hmm. and, their stuff. and it is going to be a challenge you know i've been in that situation um and it takes it takes having the right mindset to be able to give and to receive because actually okay. it's not always going to go one particular way and how do you blend that how do you fuse that, that yeah. that's one of the questions oh uh, it, it, it's a, it's a very, very big question i think uh, but i just think that we've let people off too lightly yeah and it's not a case of we allow this thing to thrive without no comment and people think okay it's okay because they're not saying anything i'm saying we're saying something and i appreciate the young lady who who did a video and, and and put out there that she's been left out there because she's black yeah and put it out there so people can see that she was left out of the back and and again we've we're gonna play this in the video uh when we play back um playing back this and i think that we now need to be able to put out there and say listen it's wrong you know what I mean? It's wrong to take me out because I'm black. You know what I'm saying? There's no point bringing me into it if you're going to be chickening out, you know? This is not about putting every advert as black. This is just about of us reflecting us in a positive manner, not only in a, in, a, in a mixed relationship situation, but in a situation of a black, a positive image of a black uh, couple, you know what I mean? Which we don't see enough, yeah? Because what you're trying to say to people, there's no positive image of black couples. And that's what is portrayed in on tv it's like back in the day how when we were growing up um who used to get killed first in the movie <laughs> the black guy <laughs> no let's be real guys search back films before maybe before 2000 who, who you got four black black guys you know what i mean and the black guy's called winston ghostbusters <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh, 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 and, and and the other thing is that we what happened when we were growing up as well i i know this from experience when there was a black person who came on TV, certainly when, when I was growing up, right? Everybody. Like, mom, mom, black man on the yeah, television. Like, was like, yeah! <laughs> you felt good, you felt represented. Yeah. And one of the things that I've, you know, in fact, I put something on my story to, um, and somebody messaged me back mm. this morning and they said, are you sure? Uh, I, I'm trying to think what the story was now, but I was basically saying that maybe now we're having a conversation, if we're having these conversations will allow us to be able to move forward in some way. And they said, do you think so? And they were saying, it's it, it, it's um i said it's going to be a very long road and would need to be my children's generation that would need to champion change and they came back and said well every generation has tried to champion change don't think it will ever totally be eradicated and will never be totally accepted until god comes um and i so, agree yeah but agree I but do we give up <laughs> i think it's important for us to have the conversation mm-hmm. on top of that i mm-hmm. also believe it's important mm. for people to feel uncomfortable listen we're going to talk about this whether you like it or you don't yeah right because this is no longer going away this is no longer being swept under the carpet mm-hmm. we have to now mm-hmm. have a conversation mm-hmm. and what i said before are you part of the problem or are you part of the solution yeah choose where you stand 
and this is where we want to be part of the solution this is what we are at affinity extra this is where we be extra because we actually talk about the conversations which nobody else is really talking about in christian media it was like shh, shh don't talk about it. let's talk about miracles yeah we believe in miracles yeah but let's not talk about the american gospel um that's on netflix right by now because i'm sure that'll cause a bit of you know I mean, if anyone who's watched that you know uh um, we're not allowed to talk about them and the negative side of christianity but we are um we are allowed to to actually highlight some of the areas that we have failed as christians to do and i say we because i'm a christian um and i'm here to talk about it because i know there's people that's hurt by it um there's a lot of people that, that's actually hurt by um, um the misrepresentation of 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 our, uh, uh, of black people continually and myself and Howie have got two sons who are in their teenager years and I cannot believe bro and I keep on saying this on this shit station I am saying what my dad said to me to my children you know what I'm saying has there really been progress there, there was progress between my dad's generation and my grandpa's generation but why am I saying to my sons you got to work four times harder than your white colleagues like come on man like you know you go you got to get you got guaranteed going to be stopped and i know that white christians are aware that we get stopped more than everybody else yeah is that fair yeah yeah it's called it, this is the way it goes no it shouldn't happen like that you know what i mean it, it, and, and uh, you know i'm not i won't say too much but one of the things that i'm involved in currently mm -hmm. uh, as part of a local community initiative mm. i'm involved in a group where uh, we review. I talk about the police. We review the police. You know, the police have got the cameras. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You review it. So I, I actually, I'm part of a group that actually reviews that footage. No way. Man, see, yeah. man, get battered. <laughs> and, 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 but the purpose yeah. of that, yeah, about brilliant. Did the did the police officer in, in this situation mm. uh, have uh, have reasonable grounds? Uh, were they justified in their response? was there Brilliant. just a full justifiable amount of force used um and it, it's quite it's quite interesting and actually you know um the particular area in bedfordshire is very i say it's, it's probably much more forward thinking than other areas around the country mm. in, in terms of looking at that and addressing some of the issues that we see where there have been where there have been uh, claims of institu institutionalized racism and that's going to be a wider aspect you know holding people to account you know my view my my challenge to everybody listening right now is True to that, hold people to account that means challenge don't be afraid to ask the question mm -hmm. somebody does something, what do you mean by that can you mm -hmm. explain yourself ask these questions to get a response back from people yeah so that people are held to account if you're going to call somebody something whether it's a black person whether it's a white person whether it's an asian person hold people to account simply ask the question and, uh, and that's a guys that is see we're not only talking about uh, problems we're talking about solutions and that's a fantastic solution and i would shout out to all police forces around the country are you actually being having an independent body actually assessing what you are doing and I can tell you some police forces go, no, 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 no. Don't say that on the internet because we don't you want nobody else to know about this one. <laughs> but yo, I'm calling it out. And you know, I got friends in um who work for the police force. Um and, and just on this note, bro, you remember back in the day, if you had a had an uncle who's a policeman, it's like sell out. I'm, I'm, a, play, I'm, a, I'm a sell out to the system. <laughs> and now we gotta we gotta approach things differently, bro. You know what I mean? And 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 uh it's not being part of Babylon, it's being part in the system to make change and to protect our people and to have a more positive image of ourselves out there. And if you've got anything to close off, because I know we're going to, uh, before before I take up too much time, but go, go on, bro. What are you saying? Hey, thank you, thank you. All good. Yeah, all good. Any, any, anything else to close on, bro? No, uh, you know, uh, let me say, if you want to see a change, be the change, yeah? Start. Yes. With, let it start with you in your corner. You can't, may, not, may not be able to change the world. But you can change your part of the world so you know do what you can do to make that difference to make you know and and challenge the norms why why has something been that way and why mm. is it that way today mm. uh, does it need, mm. and if it does speak to like-minded people find mm. a way of as i keep saying it starts with asking the question brilliant bro that's fantastic bro this is, guys we're gonna ask that question and sainsbury's we salute you tesco 
boy, you know, uh, boy, you know what I'm saying, boy, you know, you got some good deals in there right about now, you know, at the moment, man, I'm going, boy, you know what I'm saying, I, mean, I forgot as there afterwards, you know, <laughs> but listen, bro, appreciated time, thanks again, and this is Harry Mack, check out his show on a Friday, I'm going to get this right, 9 p.m i bet it's eight nine p.m yes i gotta i forgot to get time wrong now it's fucking is it no nine p.m um on a friday gospel's on and i know that in a couple weeks time he's got a special i've just had an interview with sarah tebow and he'll be hopefully fl- um, playing her single first on the station um ready for this christmas season bro and this is Bless you, my brother. thank you very much for the t- uh, for the opportunity to uh share share two words you know yeah, it's all good, bro. All bro. Just enjoy the gravy, bro. Get that gravy. Get that techniques going, bro. You know what I mean? Just work. Just work off them calories before we get there, mate. <laughs> no, all right, then. God bless you, bro, man. No flow, man. Take care. Take care, Thank man. You, bless you, man. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah, guys, that's my that is Howie Mac right there on 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 the uh, uh, little bit interview we touched base we touched base with him uh, about the. Um, the actual um <laughs> dramas that we're going right now but we're just keeping it real here and i feel like this is how we do it i'm gonna uh, we got about oh gosh about six seven minutes so i can squeeze in two tracks right by now thanks for listening in today you're an affinity extra and we're here to be extra i'm gonna play a bit of kb and this is how it goes Made my bed and i dug my grave you don't worry what i for myself i saw god to double o a big